guys, what's going on? Um, it's Kyle Krieger, and this is my channel. So if you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. <laughs> um, hi, so it's me, I'm back. Um, I'm in my New York apartment, and I know it's been a while since I filmed here. <sighs> It feels good to be here, and it feels good to be in front of you, my little snowflakes! I miss you guys so much. Another day to fight social justice with y'all. I'm feeling very great today. I have, I don't know if you saw my last video with Manny. Manny talked about, we did like a men's makeup tutorial, and this product I went and bought. So today on my face, I have this, what is this product? <laughs> Pure professional, pro professional, poor professional, anyway. It's a primer. It goes on your skin um, after you moisturize. It smooths over your pores and kind of adds a matte finish to your face so that you're not really shiny, which is great for someone like me who sweats a lot or is in front of lights or whatever. I love it. So if you're looking for something to put on after your moisturizer, check out this primer. It's really great. Anyway, so this, so much has happened <laughs> since I talked to you guys last. I, me, right here, me, I, which you may have seen, on my social media went to the White House. Like, oh, what? It was so cool. It, you know, Tyler Oakley kept telling me like, I wish you would stop pretending that you're not worthy of being here. And that is so sweet. And I love him for that. But I, but I never thought that like, the stuff that I create online would have recognition by one of the most powerful, important people in the world that I look up to so much and we're gonna miss so much. It would filled my heart up that the president thinks that the work that I put out on YouTube with y'all, on social media, on whatever, on Instagram, that it's worthy of recognition by him and by his office of public engagement. Anyway. <laughs> It is mind blowing. So I wanted to share it with y'all. So I brought my vlogging camera and it was awesome. So check out my vlog. Hi. Hi. So me and these two people you've probably never seen before are walking to the White House. So today we're going to a White House summit. Today we're gonna be just, wait, what are we gonna be discussing? We're gonna be discussing four main issues, oh, right? Oh, drive it change. Yeah. Equality slash diversity uh -huh. slash sexual assault prevention. Yes. And then what are the other two, Tyler? This and that. <laughs> so wait, very. No, I don't know. Wait, what were they? The other I was ones say were, those two. were health and healthcare. Yeah. And education. Education. We got oh. a talking point okay. queen so, on our hands. <laughs> we have lots of important stuff to talk about. Okay, so we'll catch you inside. Bye. <laughs> Please don't. You're so red. <laughs> it's the, the it's the lighting. So, Where are we? Do I look presidential? Well, you look like something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited. I just can't believe that I'm in here. Like, look how gorgeous this place is. And I also met the most cool people. I met this young woman, Cat Black. She's amazing. You have to check out her channel. I met Hannah Hart. I met Joey Graceffa. I met, like, I just met all these people. And Tyler was there, and Raymond Braun was there, and we just had, like, a grand old time, and a gay old time, too. And Okay, so, we're on our way. It's supposed to snow tonight. It's snowing. Oh my god. I'm uh, singing. We're walking out of the Eisenhower building into the White House Gardens. Say hi. I don't even want to pick a camera in your face. Is this our vacation? <laughs> this is what Alright, we're about to go into the East Wing. Let's watch Raymond do his thing. Let's watch Everyone's really vlogging. So literally in like two seconds we're gonna be inside the White House. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're inside the East Wing of the White House. Did you get me being shady? Oh no, what? Okay, good. <laughs> Oh, more shade. Oh no, so more shade. Oh. Loving shade. You heard it here first. <laughs> We're walking out onto the lawn now to the First Lady's garden. It's snowing. It's so beautiful. Hey, sister. Hi. So we are going to Michelle Obama's garden. <laughs> okay. Which is part Parsley, of our Just Move peppers, initiative. Cabbages, Lots of celery, organic, healthy vegetables, watercress, <laughs> fiddle ferns, lettuce. <laughs> What's going to be in the garden next? What, it's snowing. Is anything growing? <laughs> That's true. This is the White House kitchen garden established by First Lady Michelle Obama in the hopes of building a healthier nation for our children. <laughs> Very presidential. Uh huh. So now is this a that would have been Kyle and me? Wait up. Oh, sorry. Me? Wait up. No, please. Hello. 
<laughs> Welcome to the White House. I'm always fired up about hair care and grooming and skin care and you know all the lifestyle stuff that we talk about on this channel but I'm really fired up about social justice too. So it's important that we have a range of things to talk about on this channel. One thing that we talked about at the White House with Joe Biden, which was incredible, is he gave a speech on sexual assault. And we talked about this organization called It's On Us. Men and women, and women aren't the only one abused. A lot of men are raped as well. So I talked with the president about it, and that's why he started It's On Us. It's not just men, it's on all of us. Silence is complicity. Silence. You're an accessory. So It's On Us as an organization is designed to do a few things, a few very important things. One, to recognize that non-consensual sex is assault. To identify situations where sexual assault may occur. To intervene in situations where consent cannot or has not been given. And most importantly, to create an environment where sexual assault is unacceptable and that the survivors are supported. The reason why this was so touching to me to hear the vice president talk about this type of, of assault is because, I don't know if you saw my TED talk, it's on my, the front of my channel. I, ha I don't necessarily talk about my history very much about sexual assault. In my TED talk, I did mention that I was raped when I was 18. I was passed out because I had drank too much and I was taken advantage of. And for a long time, I struggled with what that was and I blame myself and I just, you know, it was awful. I don't talk about it a lot. I don't know why. I mean, I just, I, it hasn't fit into a video yet, but it seems to fit perfectly here. So if you are in that situation, you're not alone, first of all. When Joe Biden talks about something as important as sexual assault, it makes me feel passionate about jumping on board with this fight. Sexual assault can be devastating. It can push people into the deepest depression, and I know because I have been there. It is on all of us to stand up and hold up these principles. I also took down a few tips when I was at the White House on my little White House pad. Oh my God, is this so cool? It says, uh, you can't really see it, but it says, can you see it? Um, it says White House on it. So they gave me a notepad, which is so cool. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I know it's silly, but consent is voluntary and mutual. It can be taken away or given at any time. Past consent does not mean future or current consent. There is never consent if there is force or intimidation. One cannot always consent if under the influence. Trust your gut. If it looks like a bad situation, it probably is. Take the steps to intervene or to stop it. Never blame the victim. If someone does not consent or cannot consent, then it is rape. So happy that I got to go to the White House. I am so amazingly grateful and humbled and honored to go to the White House. If you have a voice and a platform, I urge you to get involved, to talk about the things that matter to you. And it might seem overwhelming that there is tons of things to talk about, but just focus on one. Just focus on what you can change and, and be a huge voice for that change. And that is such a big step. Subscribe to this channel. Okay, like this video, I would love a big old thumbs up. I'm gonna be talking about lots of new stuff in this in this year, lots of grooming stuff, lots of hair stuff. We're gonna be, you know, keeping up the old videos, making a bunch of new videos. I'm gonna get new lights and a new camera and it is gonna be a revamp. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanna step up my game. I just want you guys, I wanna make great content. I'm so inspired to make great stuff because you guys give me such great feedback and you are awesome and you watch everything and you comment and you like and I love you and thank you and I wouldn't be, I would be talking to myself if you guys weren't here. So, thank you. And I'll see you soon. Tyler, Catherine, and I, we are headed out of the White House. We got kicked out. We got kicked out. <laughs> we got kicked out of the White House. We literally stayed till the very end. They asked us to leave. They have free cheese, so I was here. Free cheese. <laughs>